Hey, good afternoon. Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise, Barrett Jackson 2017. I'm wrapping up a few uh, 68 Shelby GT500 KR inspections. I'm going to try to get a short video off before security stops me again. I'm behind the ropes in the salon tent. Just finished looking at this Raven Black 68. And down there a ways, skip over Sammy Hagar's car there, the red one. We did another red one and another yellow car that belonged to Jimmy Connors. They made about 18 of these Raven Black cars in 68, which makes it a pretty rare color combination. All the cars I looked at today were four-speed cars. All the res restorations were done to an exceptional level. I won't stop and bore you with the details. About 267 cars in 68 were king of the road cars with four speeds, and uh, all three of them here today are. This car retains a lot of originality, some NOS parts, some reproduction stuff. I'll take give you a quick peek underneath it. Everything up here in the salon tent's done to a pretty high caliber. The exterior body's all magnet tested out nicely. I found a few spots of filler here and there that I noted on an exploded view for the potential purchaser that hired me and sent me down here to do these cars. But as you can see, really well executed. I'm going to avoid going back to the front of the car because I keep getting mugged with questions. Casting date of the block correctly precedes the uh, build of the vehicle. And again, if you've seen some of the other Shelby videos, you'll note I usually comment on all the small components, but as you can see, a lot of the small components are done and detailed nicely as they should be. Shelby VIN is in places as it should be. Nice level of general original wear on those door panels. Car shows really well for 42,000 miles. Fairly believable. Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise. And I keep getting yelled at by security, so I'm going to keep moving on. Car number 4047 is also a car we did an inspection on. Got 150 photos, got up underneath this vehicle. Beg your pardon? This car was explained to me that it was owned by a SAC judge. It isn't currently any longer, but uh, a lot of time and attention was put into detail and uh, what was done with the vehicle. Obviously, he had some connections. With car number 4047, magnet tested out real well. The paint still looks nice. It's got a little more general wear on it than uh, the Black King of the Road we just previously showed you wheels are in nice shape. I do not believe those are reproduction center caps. I think those are a nice set of originals, by the way. And I don't want to get yelled at for opening up a door, so this one I'm not going to open up today. This car is represented to have an original 53,000 miles. It appears to have been pretty well maintained, and that pedal set gives us an indication that uh, that may be true information. Good survivor steering wheel as well. A quick peek under it. Other than just lacking a little uh, road grime uh, detail necessity, it's a good solid car. Application of red uh, oxide primer can still be seen in various locations amongst the overspray and whatnot. Here at the auction, it's really hard to get at the transmissions to authenticate. You can sometimes reach up and get a random photo of a block number. This one I got lucky on because the owner had taken photos and put them all in a dossier and uh, to share with the people, and so it showed the casting number and the build date of the vehicle, which looked to be very consistent and appropriate. Yep.
Let's move on to car 3279. Jimmy Connors bought this car for his wife. There's a nice story that uh, goes along with it. And I'll let you get online and read about it. Give you a quick view of the car. The car magnet tested out pretty well. Body's in uh, pretty nice shape. You notice this door corner sucked in a little down here. Evidence of uh, fill or no magnetic adhesion there. And uh, not a great fit. A few small uh, marks here and there. But generally speaking, the restoration on the car was really, really nice. The restoration, I don't know specifically who uh, conducted it. I noted that that shock tower, that apron may have been changed out in the past. This apron appears to be uh, more stock looking. Spot welds are a little more plausible on the shock towers. And looking up from inside the fender well, I was unable to find the back end of the VIN stamp. Has the appearance of a very uh, nice uh, survivor dash component. Gauges have been restored. Steering wheel's been restored. Uh, pedal set's been changed. Seat covers, I'm un undecided about. But they appear to have some original stitching in place. Look up underneath this car. Pretty nice looking car underneath. This car received a Division II Gold at some point in time. It's a pretty high honor. Rear end detail is real nice. I didn't mention earlier that the red car was a color change. I believe the Marty report indicated it was a uh, lime gold vehicle. There weren't many cars painted uh, yellow either, by the way. In 1968, Shelby GT500 KRs anyway. I know just a handful. Very nice underbody. When you're at the Barrett-Jackson and you get to have your car in the salon tent next to Sammy Hagar's uh, Shelby, your car's got to be pretty nice to meet that uh, standard. And all of these cars uh, certainly have a pretty good presentation, that's for sure. Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise uh, coming to you live, 2017 Barrett-Jackson. See you, people. It's Friday afternoon. Thanks a bunch for hanging out. Sorry I couldn't be a little more detailed on these uh, reports, but I'm tired of getting yelled at by security, so I'm gone. Good luck, bidders. Have a great day.